Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In the last class, we discussed about how to create the standard report. In this session, we'll discuss about how to create the grouped record. How to apply the group by class with Crystal Reports. So, initially, I'll try to open my Visual Studio Editor, and here I'll try to go to the new project, and I'll try to select ASP.NET Web Application, and here I'll go to the Solution Explorer. Initially, I'll created one database with the name uh, MyDB. There I created one table with name employee with column C number, E name, salary and D name. E number I applied primary key, E name, salary, D name and I inserted some data. Is it clear? Now I want to create a report to display the employee details along with the total salary. Is it clear? So initially right click on the project. Here you can go to add new item. I will try to create the data set. Here one point you need to remember. Whatever the data that is available in database. Now we are trying to bring the data from database to data set. So in data set we need to create one table. And the columns that are available in database table, in the data table that is available in data set, both must be same. The schema of the table must be same along with the primary keys. So that we need to fetch the data from database and store in where? Data set data table. And then we need to attach this data within the crystal report. That is our main requirement. So here I will try to select my data set. And the name I will give as EMP data set dot XSD. Just click on add button. Is it clear? So right click. Here you can add data table. I want to create a new data table. And within this data table I want to create the columns. Add column. The name of the column I will give as E number. Similarly right click. Add one more column the name I'll give as Z name and here right click add one more column the name I'll give as salary and right click on the click on add column and here the name I'll give as D name and I want to apply primary key constraint for E number right click on E number column and here you can set primary key and I want to set the data types for each column right click on E number column uh, properties there you can see data type the data type is system dot into 32 these all are CTS types right click on ename properties system dot string right click on salary properties data type here I will change as system dot double because in database we have in table we have given as money similarly go to properties for D name data type is string so my data table is ready so what I am doing here I have some data in my database now i will try to fetch the data from database and store in where data set because crystal reports are generally used to fetch the data from any type of data sources is it clear so now i want to create one report so right click on the project add new item and here i will try to select uh, reporting there i select crystal reports before this we need to uh, install the crystal reports you can watch part one of so that you can understand and here I will try to write something like the name I will give as employee report dot rpt click on add button so here I need to create one standard report click on ok and go to project data I'm selecting the data source that is my data set my data table and here click on finish button as we already discussed in the last session what is the there are different five sections are there one is report header which is used to display the organization name page header here you can right click on the report header insert a text object and here you can give the organization name something like such a technologies I'll give some name and uh, if you want to increase the font you can increase just here you can give bold and here you can give the font uh, some 20 is it clear like this you can adjust the font right and similarly in page header here I can give what here it will print the date and here I will try to right click insert one more text object it is used to display the title of the page the title of the page I want to give as employee details the report header is generally used to display what the organization name or the company name and the uh, page header is generally used to display the title of the page so here I given the title as 
employee details is it clear here you can see details section i will try to open the field explorer open data table if you are not able to view the field explorer right click there you can find field explorer right click open field explorer there you can go to database fields data table here i will try to drag and drop e number and here i will try to drag and drop e name is it clear e name and here i will try to drag salary is it clear and here i will try to drag d name department name right so it will display the actual data that is available from database and apart from this i want to display what total salary the sum of the salary i want to display so right click on the report footer and here you can insert one more text object and uh, here i want to display the total salary so here i will try to give total salary right this one also i want to give as what bold right and here if you want you can adjust this text object right and here i want to group actually in sql we already know aggregate function sum of salary i want to display the total salary of all the employees so right click on this and here you can select insert summary and here i will try to select uh, i want to find that sum of salary so select data table one dot salary and here you can select the aggregate function that is salary sum sum click on okay so here you can see one uh, text object is automatically inserted saying that sum of data table one dot salary it will display the total salary is it clear so my data set is ready and my report is ready now i want to display the data from database into my data set i have to attach the data from database to data set for that we need to write the code so initially i will try to go to the project add new item select uh, web there i will select the web form click on add button is it clear so here right click on web form under aspx here you can see view designer right so i'll go to the design window here i will try to go to the toolbox and i will try to drag and drop a crystal report viewer is it clear i want to display the data whatever the data that is available in uh, data set i have to attach to report uh, source then i have to attach that one to my crystal report viewer so to make the things faster i'll paste the code here here you see i will declare the namespace using system dot data using system dot data dot sql client and using system dot crystal decisions dot crystal reports dot engine these three namespaces i have declared first of all i am creating the connection to the database sql connection con is equals to new sql connection of user id password database and data source data source is my server name is it clear this is the credentials i have given that is my server name is kanna user name is sy password is abc and then i am trying to pass the query by using sql data adapter SQL data adapter will directly open the connection to the database, execute the query, select star from employee, and create an object for a data set and store the result of the query in data set. In data set, already we create the table. The result is stored in my table. And here I will try to mention the uh, report name. What is my report name? Employee report dot rpt. Copy this one, and here you can paste it. So what is the meaning of this? Here I am creating an object for report document. Whatever the data that is available, I will try to bring, and I will try to load into my uh, report document object. Then I will try to set the data source, and then I will attach the data to my crystal report viewer. Debug, check the output. Here, if you observe, you can see here. such a technology is employee details it displayed only salary column total salary is 96000 it has displayed the current system date along with date i hope you understood
this is how we can work with we can group the uh, common set of values in a single column and display in the report for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and facebook group in the next video i will try to discuss about how to create a graph report thank you have a nice day